Hey guys, so today I am going to be starting a color series. Um, I'm going to go through a list that I actually found on Pinterest of a bunch of different colors, ideas for makeup. The first one is nude, so as you can tell here, very neutral look that we're going with. And as we go on, it gets a little bit bolder. By the end, we're working with black, so it is very exciting. Next in the series will be purple, but today we're going to do a very calm, neutral look. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this tutorial, please stay tuned. Since we're going super neutral and nude for this look, I'm just going to go in with a very, very tiny bit of bronzer here. I'm going to be using my butter bronzer, and mine is in the shade light bronzer because of my very pale skin. This is a really good bronzer if you are super pale like I am. It's just like enough to warm up your face, but it's not too orangey. So we're just going to kind of give it a nice bronzy look all across the face here. Right, so next I'm going to be going in with a very kind of neutral blush. It is the Melba by MAC. I wanted something that's not super pink or, you know, any peachy, just kind of a very light nudie blush to go with this whole look here. Just going to put a little bit on my cheeks. I'm not a humongous blush person. I kind of just like very lightly do my cheeks. I don't like them like super out there, especially for this look since we're going for a very soft nude look. I'm definitely going to be trying to keep it very, very calm, not too bright. I think just enough to warm up the face and give it a little bit of color. And next I'm going to go in to highlighters. All right, so for highlighter, I'm going to go in with my ColourPop Flexitarian highlight. It is a really super pretty highlight. It does have that like nudie champagne look and it was insane. Like if you can see how it's coming off here, it's crazy. Um, I went with this one because a lot of my highlights that I have um, out currently, like for my shop, my stash, are really like purpley toned. So these are not quite right for the look that I'm going for. But my next in my color series is actually purple, so they will be perfect for that one. So I'm gonna go in with this brush first. I usually end up using my fingers. I don't know why. Sorry, you can hear my cat like screeching in the background. But um, I'm going to go in with this, and I'm gonna deal with that for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, his little foot was caught on a blanket and he was having a fit because he needed me to get him free. Uh, my cat's not very good at being a cat. Anyway, I'm going to go in with this brush here first and try that. That always works pretty well. The best way to use these super shock highlights though is definitely just to go in with your, your finger. But this definitely works too and I prefer this because it kind of softens it a little bit. I mean, not much. Flexitarian is a pretty crazy highlight whether you soften it or not. Um, I definitely love this one. You can get it at Ulta now, I believe, too. Instead of having to just order it on the ColourPop website, I believe you can actually go into Ulta and they carry... Um, I know they carry the Super Shock uh, highlights, but I believe they have Flexitarian actually in store, which is awesome because it is such a pretty highlight. Check that out. So pretty, very blinding. Since we're going for a new look, I thought it would be best to go for a very... Uh, the kind of a bright, shiny highlight. It would be pretty to add to the nude look. Um, I do do my nose like just a little bit, but not too much. I don't like adding too much highlight to my nose, although when you're using Flexitarian, you don't usually have much of a choice. If you use any highlight, it is a lot of highlight. <laughs> anyway, so next I am going to look at my shadows, and we are going to figure out what we are going to be doing for this nude eye look. Because I want to do like a little bit of something, but also, you know, it's supposed to be nude, so we want it to be kind of a chill look, so let's figure that out. I thought a good one to go into for this would be the Milani Soft and Sultry. Sorry, my mirror, like really comes off that but um I'm gonna stick to these shades up here and do a very nude look and then I believe I'm gonna go over my lid with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade OK. So I'm gonna start with this shade over here and just put it all over my lid and I'm using my Morphe M441 brush. I'm just gonna put it all over my lid to set down the concealer I have on my lid. I know lots of people don't like when people use concealer um, for an eyeshadow base, but I do it like quite often. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with that. I also use the, um, MAC Painterly Paint Pot, not Painterly, I use uh, Soft Ochre. And that is a really good one to start your eyes before you shadow. It really helps cancel out any of the veins in your eyes, like any blue coloring. It's really good.
I'm just going to slightly deepen the crease with this color here. Not too deep, don't want it to be anything other than nude. <laughs> I promise these looks will get a little more dramatic as we go on. I'm just starting with something very simple. Purple is definitely the one I'm looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to gray. I do a lot of like smoky eye uh, stuff, so I think gray will be a lot of fun. I'm kind of nervous about orange. I don't usually do anything too orange, so that one is definitely a little bit scary to me, but I think it'll be fun to try to kind of put that together and figure out how to do an orange look. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I always feel like orange super clashes with my hair, so I usually avoid it, but I do have a great palette to go into for an orange look, so I'm kind of excited to get a chance to test that out because I feel like I haven't really touched it at all because I'm usually scared of any like super orange colors because of that. So I'm excited to be able to give that one a chance. So I'm going to go in now with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade OK. I'm just going to put that all over my finger. It is a crazy pigmented, super bright. This one is an ultra metallic shadow. These are definitely my favorite. Um, the satin ones are really good too, and the mattes are pretty good. I'm not a fan of the ultra glitters. I feel like it doesn't really give you any of the color that you see in it. It kind of just picks up some messy glitter and gets everywhere. I'm not a fan, but the ultra metallics are definitely my favorites. So I'm just going to put this one all over the lid, give it a nice shimmer. We just want a super natural shimmery look today to go with the nude. So I'm not loving the amount of fallout I feel like I got under my eyes with this shadow. I feel like there was like a lot of glitter fallout. I also feel like they said it was an ultra metallic shadow and it really is looking a lot more like an ultra glitter. It has a very glittery, uh, very glittery look to it. Didn't give that much of a shimmer, more of a uh, bright glimmer. So I'm actually gonna go in with my e.l.f. J Kissa palette and I'm gonna grab her highlight shade. It is the shade 23 and I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna take this Wet n Wild brush here and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. It's like a nice, champagne -y highlight shade and I'm just gonna push that all over my lid to try to get a more metallic there we go try to get a more metallic look out of this shadow here there we go that's much better much more metallic I like that a lot better so <laughs> next I'm going to just throw on a very light amount of eyeliner and then we will come back and work on eyebrows and lips so I threw on some ColourPop BFF mascara also because I wanted to do kind of big but soft lashes. I didn't want to do falsies because we're trying to do kind of a nude natural look. I didn't want to do anything quite so dramatic. So for my brows, I am going to go in with the pencil I tried out in was my last video or two videos ago where I tried new products. This is the Lottie London Arch Rival Microblading Pencil. That's so many words. I feel like I feel like I'm doing a tongue twister when I do that. But I really liked the way that this did my brows, even though at first I was kind of terrified by how intense they were. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in with this again and you just kind of fork this through your eyebrows. So I'm gonna throw this on my brows and then we will work on what lip color we wanna do. Right, we have finished our eyebrows. I'm kind of liking this whole like bold eyebrow thing I've been going for lately. But I'm going to go in for lips with the Sephora, what is this? Contour Gel Rouge Gel Lip Liner. This is in the shade, we might never know, the nudist. It's number one, it is in the nudist. So I'm gonna go through my lips with this. We're gonna put this lip liner on and then I'm going to throw on the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. Alrighty, so this is this is a really great liner. It's a gel liner and it's super super soft. It's really easy to use. It has this like a little sharpener thingy, which kind of scares me. I feel like I'm gonna break the end off. It's a really good lip liner. I really like this one. Uh, I bought it specifically to use with my London by NYX. Um, 
it matches really, really perfectly. So I'm just going to go in with this now. Here we go. I am always a huge fan of a really like kind of I don't know it's like it's a nude lip but it's also kind of a bold like color with this because the nude is just like a little bit brighter than my skin so it really stands out but I'm always a fan of how that like all comes together but anyway this is the finished look for nude in the color challenge that we're doing next will be purple I hope that you enjoyed this and you like watching the color series that I'm coming up with um if you're interested please hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much for watching